Pierogi Joe here, and you see the stock pot. You, but it's on the table this time. Usually it's on the oven, but it's going to go there because I kind of uh, jumped the gun a little bit, went ahead and started doing some prepping. Today we are making cabbage soup, not kapushniak. That's something different. We will make that on a different day, but this is just general cabbage soup. Healthy, delicious, nutritious, good for you, good for the winter, and a lot of people swear by it for weight loss. Um, if you're looking for it for weight loss, look, you're, you're probably going to scrutinize me with some potatoes and things, but I'm, that's not what I'm interested in. I'm into making a good, hearty, delicious, nutritious, good for you, healthy cabbage soup. So here's how we do. We've got about three to four pounds of country style ribs. You want something meaty, ribbish. Um, the country style is the best because we're going to break that up, but we're going to fill it up to the, uh, till, it, till it uh, covers with water. Um, again, trying to use your local butcher. About three pounds of potatoes, uh, three or four carrots. Remember, it's a lot of about in this recipe. Okay. A large onion, uh, cabbage head about mm, two to three pounds. Two-ish at least. Uh, we're gonna have ground allspice, um, uh, caraway seed, uh, sea salt, black pepper, about a tablespoon, 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 teaspoon. And then we're gonna have a can of kraut. Try to use some good stuff. We're gonna chop that up and put it in there. Uh, we know the benefits of both cabbage and kraut. So again, healthy, delicious, nutritious. One can of tomato sauce, one can of petite diced or any kind of diced tomatoes. So here we go. Cabbage soup on this wintry. And there's another snowmageddon coming. Wintery, Ohio, and Polish people-loving, Polish food-loving day. Here we go. Before we get started, I almost forgot. Here's your ingredient list! We're going to take that stock pot of ours, we're going to put that meat in there, and we're going to cover it with water. We're using our good water, our versus osmosis water if we can. City water, well water can be a little bit too harsh, but if you don't have it, it's okay. You can use city water. I'm just trying to make it as good as possible. And there is our pot with the meat just covered in water. We're going to turn the heat on high on high and we're going to let that go opened for about 45 minutes and as we're cooking we're going to remove that um we're going to skim the top skim the fat skim the scum off but we're going to reserve that stock that's going to be stock for our soup and i may have forgotten we are doing bay leaf too see i sometimes get a little caught up in the ingredients but a bay leaf too a couple bay leaves now we take our smaller saute pan and I'm heating up the spoon, I'll show you why, because we're going to put in two or three tablespoons of bacon fat. I always keep bacon fat off when I make bacon and stuff, I'm just kind of rendering of meat, so. And, uh, because some recipes call for like a salted pork, and I, I we've already got the pork, and I don't want to really do the salted pork versus, um, you know, just regular pork and using, using the bacon fat, which already has salt and some other flavors in it. So we're going to let that uh, get heated up in a medium-high heat. Let's see, maybe turn it up a little bit. Yeah, a little higher. And we're going to put our onions in as soon as that's done. While waiting for our bacon fat to get ready for sauteing onions, I took my can of kraut, opened it up, and I took my knife and just pumped it in a little bit to kind of cut up the kraut a little bit because soon we're going to add the kraut and the juice to the uh, soup stock mixture. See, so that's a good way to, with a little less mess, how to cut your kraut. While we're waiting for that meat to cook up in about 45 minutes, let's do, let's do some prepping of our veggies. Let's start with our carrots. All right. I'm gonna cut these up in nice bite-sized pieces, nothing too big, nothing too small. We would like to have them on a, be able to fit on a spoon. Something like that, huh? How about that? There's our carrots all cut up. And now on to the onion. Again, I want to kind of small, small, uh, bigger than a dice. Maybe a little bigger than a chop. But they do reduce, so. And we're actually going to saute these onions 
in some bacon fat. So. All right. There's our onions going. And there's our onion. Put those aside to the bowl. The I see you bowl. I see you bowl. Now our cabbage. Okay. Careful. So I work with the core a little bit. There's not much core in there, so I'm gonna chop that core. I'm gonna V out that um, core a little bit. Okay. Pop it out. There you go. Get rid of that. And I take the other half. Probably have a little core there. Get rid of that core. And we're gonna be careful and try to V out the core on that. So we'll beat that out a little bit more. Alright, cabbage. Cabbage. Again, little bite-sized pieces. It will reduce. But we don't want big, large, obnoxious chunks of uh, cabbage in there. And there is cut cabbage, ready to set aside. Okay, cabbage. And now, potatoes. So we're gonna cube those up. So you have a nice square shape to work with there. Easy for cubing. Cube those up. Okay, cubed. Okay. Cubing potatoes. Skins, cubing, cubing the potatoes. Cubing, cubing potatoes. I don't think I'm going to make that a hit song. I could try all I want. It's just not going to be a hit. Cubing potatoes. Hey man, what you doing? I'm just sitting around cubing some potatoes. So we are prepping now. So in order to prevent them from getting brown, we're going to set them in some water to make sure it covers them, and it is. The water is covering it, and um, so that'll um, keep them from browning until we need to use them. And it will also uh, pull out some of the starch. So it's uh, good, and it's good. Ah, and just in time, our meat and meat stock is now finished. So you see it reduced quite a bit. I'm going to take that meat out. We're going to set it aside. We're going to let it cool so that we can shred it up later. But what we have is that beautiful meat stock now. And remember, use butcher meat because you don't want, use your good butcher, good local meat because you don't want hormone soup. Um, yeah, so we have that stock that we're going to turn that down. And then we're going to move on to the next step. And there's our meat. It's going to be pulled. Our bacon fat mixture, our little bacon fat concoction is all... Heat it up, and we're going to put those uh, onions in there. We're going to let them, we're going to saute them lightly, let them sweat a little bit for about three minutes. You want to coat them up, toss them. Okay, about three minutes on that. Onions and bacon fat. Onions and bacon fat. Onions and bacon fat. Onions and bacon fat. How about that? All right, kind of cheesy, but I try. They're getting softer, they're getting a little more um, opaque, easier to toss around because there's all kinds of good good uh, oil in there, grease, bacon fat, the water's coming out from the onions, so that's going good. You can see the water vapor coming out from the onions, they're sweating really well, just the way we want. You see that? See? You see that? Sweating just the way we want. 
And to that, we're going to add our carrots. It's going to open them up just a little bit because carrots have a little sweetness to it. That's why we add carrots a lot besides its good nutritional value. But we kind of do that, it kind of adds some sugar too. So we're going to toss in a little bit, let that finish up. In the meantime, we're going to go back to our stock pot. And in the meantime, we're going to go back to our stock pot, turn that stock pot up to high. All right. Gonna make my camera arrangement here in a little bit. Move my, move my cooling meat. Okay, we got our stock pot there. And to that stock pot. Well, that's a bad shot. So let me go here. All right. To that stock pot, we're gonna add our chopped cabbage. Okay. We're going to add our base are two tomatoes and I try to use low salt as much as possible because I will determine how much salt I will have in my foods not the grocery store okay then our can of kraut remember I cut it up a little bit with the knife inside so we want the kraut and the juice in there mm, all of it there we go mmm a little mmm for me and we're gonna stir that up we are stirring it up. It looks really good. Let me get a, let me show you what it looks like here. Okay. We are stirring it up. It starts to take on a color. You notice how the green leafy cabbage is there now, but it's going to reduce drastically. Then we take our, our little onion and carrot mix. We're going to put that in there. Okay, turn our heat on. Stir it in. Mm. And water is going to come out from the, the various vegetables too, the onion, the cabbage and stuff. So it's going to have its own, it's going to make its own stock, so to speak, too. All right. So next we're going to go with the herbs. Now we're going to add our herbs. Now, I forgot another ingredient, which of, of course it goes in almost everything. It's garlic, okay? We're going to put a couple uh, larger tablespoons of the minced garlic in there. Um, I did forget it. You know, in the world of Froggy Joe... Sometimes things just get a little bit crazy, okay? And so we're gonna add a teaspoon of our ground allspice, about a teaspoon. Okay. Our Licht Lorove, our bay leaves. Uh, let's see, caraway. Let's go with a tablespoon of caraway. About, right? You saw a little extra there, about. And uh, let's see, about. About a teaspoon of pepper, maybe a teaspoon and a half of black ground pepper. And our friend, sul, the salt. Okay, let's go about a tablespoon, maybe a little more. Remember, you can't take it out, so we'll always add more if we need to later. All right, there's our herbs. We're going to bring that up to a boil, and then potatoes. Mix it up. Again, look how pretty it is. Great color. Little sauce on the wall there. Get that over. But look at that color, it's beautiful. Mm. Little, little speckles of pepper in there, just enough. Okay. I'm going to bring that to a boil before we add our potatoes and then look to shred our meat. So we're going to put a lid on that. And uh, do I do want to do a uh, cook's or editor's note. You know, the importance of using the real spices like I did, the real garlic, the real caraway, um, you know, better salt, uh, allspice, versus a flavor pack. You can go in any store and get, you know, uh, cabbage soup mix and just add cabbage and tomatoes. No, we're doing this for real, okay? So the, you're getting actually not just a flavor of the herbs, but the essence and the, and the beneficial uh, elements of the herbs, the benefits of the herbs themselves. So just remember that. Try to use the real herbs as much as you can, okay? That's why we're doing this. Homemade food, Polish food, that's what makes us healthier, not the box. So while our uh, soup mixture is boiling, a little bit of a game change, a uh, little change in the uh, uh, game plan here. Remember I said we're going to pull that meat. Well, this isn't exactly the kind of meat that you pull off. So first I'm going to trim the fan off of it, and then I'm going to chop it up into smaller bits and pieces, okay? Then we'll put them into the little, make them into like little fine chopped cubes. And then we'll put them into the soup. Okay. See, we're going to take that, 
trim, pull that fat off, trim it, it kind of falls off its own a little bit. Okay, take those bigger pieces of fat. I mean, if you have another use for it, you might be able to. You may want to render that up or something. Okay. Okay, we're going to cut it up a little smaller. Okay. We're going to keep doing that all the way through. There is our chopped up meat. Ready to go back into the soup mixture. It is boiling, and the smells are starting to come together. While it's smelling together as one, you can still smell the, the caraway coming out. And also, we're going to drain and put in our potatoes. So we'll dump that water out. And we're going to add our potatoes and keep stirring that up. Let me get you a closer shot here. Here we go. Put our potatoes in, put our meats in. And as I said, you see the vegetables are starting to break down a little bit. See the cabbage has broken down quite a bit. Just those few minutes of boiling. So it's all in there. We have a big, giant pot of cabbage soup almost finished. See, everything's together now. Like I said, the smells are coming together. You can still you can smell the caraway kind of coming out. You can smell the garlic. You can smell the allspice, a little the bay leaf, the rovi in there. So it's all coming together now. Stand by, it's almost done. It has been simmering for a couple of hours, actually, on the low with the lid on. And there it is. Look at that. Mmm. Cabbage soup. Polish style. The way it'll be made in Poland, the way your grandmother would make it, the way that pierogi Joe makes it. Cabbage soup. And if you like what you see, folks, subscribe to this channel because there's more coming and there's more there. Hope you try it. I look forward to your comments. And one more thing. Smacznego.